We got some breaking news this morning on a Friday. First of all, welcome to the King and Do Show. It's just me today. It's been some smoke to this fire for some time now. We're gonna kind of get into that. So, the Pistons have acquired Tim Hardaway Jr. and three second round picks from the Dallas Mavericks for Quentin Grimes. So there was some confusion at first. There were some reports saying that the Pistons actually traded away three second round picks, but no, the Pistons have acquired three first round picks to go along with Tim Hardaway um, in return for Quentin Grimes. And a lot of fans have not been happy about this, um, but I, I'm i not too upset about it. We're going to kind of get into why. So let's just talk about it. The three picks that the Pistons receive include the Mavs 2025 second round pick via Toronto and also the Mavs 2028 thick round picks they have two of them and king and i just talked about this potential trade a couple of days ago right and the stipulations behind that so for us our only hope if that trade was made which is final now was to make sure that the pistons get assets right namely draft capital in return and that's what they did they got three second round picks right one 2025 and two 2028 now a lot of you guys might be wondering why the Pistons didn't try to get any first round picks from the Mavs. And that's a good question. The answer is simple. The Mavs didn't have any this offseason. They had a first round pick, uh, pick 24, but they had to send that over to New York to finalize that Chris Stapps Porzingis trade. So could the Pistons have tried to get a first rounder? They probably could have tried to get a future first rounder, but maybe they did try, right? Maybe they did. We don't know. And it's no secret that the Mavs were looking to move on from Tim Hardaway, right? And also Tim Hardaway and his father, Tim Hardaway Sr., they were also ready to move on from Dallas as well. So with that being said, I would have hoped that Trajan and the Pistons played hardball, right? Knowing that they were trying to get rid of him and move off him. And maybe they did. But maybe Dallas just wasn't that eager to move off of Tim Hardaway Jr. that much if it meant giving up another first round pick in the future. So maybe that was what happened there. So... The Pistons had 60 million available in cash space before this trade, right? And if you're the Pistons, you got to spend that money before the start of the regular season. You can't carry it over. So now is the time to absorb contracts for assets. And so Tim Hardaway Jr. is slated to make 16 million next season. So even if this trade doesn't work out for the Pistons on the court, they're only on the hook for one season. And they get that 16 million in cash space right back after this upcoming season with his contract expiring. And so we also know that Tim Hardaway has a relationship with Kate Cunningham, right? Tim really helped Kate a lot with the decision to have surgery on his shin at the beginning of the season before last. And Tim really kind of served as a mentor for Kate through that process. So there was definitely a friendship that developed from that. So that may have played a part as well. But getting to the other side of this trade now, Quentin Grimes, right? King and I both talked about this last stream. We both felt like Quentin Grimes wasn't really given the opportunity to show what he can do for this team when healthy because he only played six games for us. He played six games for the Pistons last season. He came over halfway through the year and he got hurt not long after he got here. So I said it before, I personally don't think that's a big enough sample size. It's not a big enough sample size in my opinion. Um, and I feel like Quentin Grimes could have been a nice rotational piece for the Pistons when, they, when healthy, but... I do like his shooting and defense and what he could have provided. I'm sad to see him go, but I am happy that this wasn't a one-for-one -one trade. That was my only request. Please do not let this be a one-for-one -one player trade. Get assets in return. And they did that. So, also too, I want to talk about this. A lot of people are saying, you know, Tim Hardaway is injury prone. You know, Quentin Grimes was hurt last year too. So it's not as if, you know, Tim Hardaway Jr. was the only guy that was hurt last season. I know he's had some nagging injuries in the past, but both players have had some injury history, right? So I want to wish the best of luck to Quentin Grimes. I hope he's able to get healthy and contribute for Dallas next season. I think he's going to a great situation. And Dallas basically got another Josh Green for their team. Another, another 3 and D guy. About the same size, a 6'5". Now though, pivoting, right? Now that this deal has been made, what should the Pistons expect from Tim Hardaway Jr.? So he's 32 years old. And last season, he averaged 14 points, 3 rebounds, 2 assists, on 40% shooting overall, 35% from three, and he shot 85% from the free throw line. So we all know that he's been a streaky shooter throughout his career. And most notably, when he went from struggling early in the playoffs to you know not getting much opportunity to hitting five threes in game four of the NBA Finals. 
if the Pistons decide to keep him on the roster, they'll have a capable and willing shooter, catch and shoot guy who can create space, opening up driving lanes for Cade, Cunningham, and Jaden Ivey, and also space the floor a little bit for that pick and roll game with Cade and Jalen Duren, which is one of the most important parts of our offense, one of the biggest parts of our offense, and one of the biggest needs that we had this offseason, which is spacing. So he does help with that. Ideally, in my opinion, he can be a solid veteran locker room presence, right? For a team that doesn't have any. You know, the Pistons don't really have any vets on this team, so that would be helpful. And at the end of next season, you look back and you basically traded Quentin Grimes for three second round picks. You get that 16 million back in cap space, and then you get Tim's veteran presence for a season. Not bad. Now, if the Pistons don't decide to keep him and buy him out, right? Buy out that 16 million on this contract that's remaining then I think it's really clear that their intention with this trade was to do exactly what we hoped they would do. Absorb contracts for assets, absorb contracts for assets, absorb contracts for assets. And that's what they did. And I'm happy with that. Now we got to wait and see what happens from here. But I think it's pretty clear that the Pistons, they're just getting started, guys. They're just getting started with the moves being made. It looks like a lot more moves are going to be coming out of Trajan Langdon. So I'm looking forward to seeing what he does next. And I mentioned this too last stream, that there may have been some smoke to the fire once we got the news of the Pistons hiring Mavs executive Dennis Lindsay, right? That was reported just hours before the rumors about this trade came out. Just hours. So there was definitely a correlation there all along as I expected with that. So now we wait and see what the Pistons do next. So that is the news. We are going to be back on Tuesday. Myself and King are gonna be back on Tuesday to kind of break this down a little bit more along with our post-draft thoughts about the guys that we got the roles that they may have on this team and what that may mean for some of the guys already on this team, right? So we're going to wait and see if anything else breaking comes out on this Friday. Um, we will be sure one of us, between the two of us, will be sure to get it out to y'all. And as always, Detroit versus everybody. Peace. The spirit of Detroit when they facing us Like yeah. the microwaves, they heating up Bad boys, no police in us Like ZP Tuss, no crutch from the top of the key Be clutch, defense, show D, that's us Get up out your seats, we up Switch gears like a piston, do Stop and shoot, you got the cue Free throw, gotta execute, no ref with who Win or lose, get the best of you And when you knock me down, I'm getting back up Cause when I step on the floor, you know your time's up I'm on my way up and I'm not gonna stop We headed straight to the top in the low I got a face I got no time to waste it. Waste it. It's my time now. Here